टुडे वी विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अ केस ऑफ फ्रैक्चर नेजल बोन रिडक्शन दिस इज द डॉर्सम ऑफ द नोज एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रॉमा इट इज बीन डिविएटेड ऑन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज इनफिल्ट्रेशन वी जस्ट पुट अ थोडिकम स्पेक्युलम आइडेंटिफाई द एला ऑफ द नोज एंड इन्सर्ट अ फाइव सी सी सिरिंज विल बी इंजेक्टिंग टू परसेंट लिग्नोकेन विथ एड्रेनालिन ऑन द नेजल बोन एज यू कैन सी दैट द इंजेक्शन द टू परसेंट लिग्नोकेन विथ एड्रेनालिन इज बींग इंजेक्टेड ऑन द नेजल बोन एंड दिस विल बी डन ऑन बोथ साइड्स यू ऑल्सो हैव टू इन्फिल्ट्रेट ऑन द नेजल सेप्टम सो दैट वेन वी रिड्यूस द सेप्टम the chance of bleeding is little less this ribbon gauze which is soaked in saline and adrenaline the purpose remains the same to keep the nose decongested and reduce the amount of bleeding this is a volsham forceps which is used for reduction of fracture nasal bone and this is the ash forcep which is used for reduction of sept nasal septal fracture the method of using the volsham forcep is we insert it inside the nasal cavity we hold the nasal bone but there is a chance of damage to the skin so always keep a gauze piece for support hold the nasal bone first we out fracture the nasal bone and then we in fracture this is what we have done for the left side nasal bone similarly we insert the volsham on the right side hold the right nasal bone out fracture it and in fracture we should be able to hear the sound of disimpaction of the fracture now once both the nasal bone fractures are disimpacted out fractured and in fractured we have to digitally manipulate this nasal bone and bring it to center now after reducing the fracture nasal bone we have to reduce the septal fracture whereby we take this ashes forcep insert it inside the nose insert it inside the nose we press the septum and elevate it this will help to disimpact the fract septal fracture and also align it with the fracture nasal bone so ash forcep inserted inside to disimpact the septal fracture so after disimpacting the both fracture nasal bones this both nasal bone and the septal fracture the surgeon comes on the head end has a view of the nasal bone it should look straight and with digital manipulation we have to align this bone in the center reducing both the fracture nasal bone and the septum the assistant will put some saline wash inside this will take care that the blood is sucked out completely after performing the surgery to achieve hemostasis it is we put a non absorbable nasal pack inside generally we prefer 8 cm on one side both sides we put 8 cm nasal pack fitted in syringe mein this is this nasal pack goes inside and we will inject some povidone iodine solution on the pack this makes this pack swollen up and gives pressure and prevents any bleeding we just press take away all any blood or betadine or uh, povidone iodine which is present clean the area and now we have to apply the plaster of paris on the nose to keep this fracture site supported to fix the pop we apply some tincture benzoin on the dorsum of nose cheek and the forehead we take small strips of micropore and fix 
on the nasal bone the idea of putting this is we put one micropore the other sticking should be half covering the first micropore and then below it the reason for doing this is once we have reduced the fracture nasal bone there is chance of edema and if we just keep sticking on this there is chance that the skin may pop out from this area so one micropore and the other one half on it and series of sticking should be applied we have already cut a 4 inch plaster of paris into a triangular and a rectangular fashion and this will be placed on the nasal bone the assistant keeps the gauze piece on the eyes so that when we are applying the plaster of paris none of it should go inside the eyes we soak the pop it's a six layer pop we put on the nose and give it a proper shape of the nose this will help to keep the nasal bone in its place so the triangular part and the rectangular part on the forehead this gives the support to the pop cast that we have applied so now we can see that the pop is nicely fitting on the nasal bone and this will easily stay at this place for 3 days once the edema resolves we will change the pop and put a aluminum or a silastic splint